Ooh, we got some lit news. Bill Spencer is talking about when the game's about to be revealed for the Xbox Series X. A developer just crushed the PlayStation 5. Nintendo Switch accounts. I'm going to show y'all how bad the hack accounts have been. New Cyberpunk 2077 footage. And we're going to talk about Travis. All right, let's go. started you already know what the deal yo hey give it a thumbs up man like this video we got some dope gaming news for this vid the first one <coughs> Billy boy he's talked about when we could expect to see some Xbox Series X games all right he was tweeted to at Twitter a Twitter user tweeted hi Phil Spencer or Xbox P3. How are you feeling about the eventual reveals of new games and new info on the Xbox Series X later this year? How is planning going? There are definitely a lot of hungry fans out there. And so, that's what this Twitter user tweeted Phil Spencer. Check out his response. Reviewed plans yesterday for continued sharing through launch. Team is doing great work and adapting, bro. That word adapting is what I like to hear first. Meaning, whatever Sony's throwing out, we gotta shift, adapt, and adjust. They've been adapting. I've never been more excited about Xbox plans, he continues. And then Phil Spencer closes by saying this. We've heard you. You want transparency, authenticity. We plan to keep showing that way. Next step <coughs> is not too much of a wait. And he puts in parentheses, games. This is what we want, boy. He said the next step is not too much of a wait. And it's going to be about games. I tell you this, man. They've nailed, they have nailed the hardware. The hardware for the system, lit. And we're going to talk about it, what this Horizon Zero Dawn developer is saying about the Xbox Series X hardware. But, the hardware, lit, bro. It's a powerful PC in a console gamer's hands. And so we are going to have a great second to none console gaming experience next gen xbox fans but the software and all of this generation the software is what's been plaguing um microsoft now even though i've been enjoying the first party offering on the xbox could it be better yeah but <coughs> i've beaten Sunset Overdrive, ReCore was I. Right. It was a little rough around the edges. Could have been better. I'm about to um, start Quantum Break, which I hear is a dope, dope, dope game. But that's last gen. We want to see the games this gen. We've already gotten the Senua's Hellblade 2 um, trailer. That was the game that they showed with the reveal of the console. This is going to be their launch game. Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite is going to be their launch game. Um, Forge is heavily rumored. I want to see a Fable. If we can get a Fable within the launch window, do not launch with Fable. If we're going to get Halo at launch, Fable would be a great spring game, bro. Not even spring. Early 2021 game would be perfect for Fable. Um, and so we want to see software now 
and Phil Spencer is saying software is right around the corner. There are heavy rumors pointing to May uh, a May Xbox Series X blowout. So we might get it back to back May and June, bro. So um, it's coming soon, coming soon. We're going to get more information on games. And we heard it from the horse's mouth. Philly boy himself, bro. All right, next news item. Wow. Former developer for Horizon Zero Dawn is speaking out about the Xbox Series X versus the PlayStation 5. And several developers have talked, uh, has weighed in on the system. This is why this, this what he's saying is so significant. He is a developer for a major first party PlayStation game. He knows game development. And this is what it said. This article is coming from Tomsguide.com. Former Sony PlayStation developer has heaped praise on Microsoft's Xbox Series X, claiming that the console's extra power may send Sony's PlayStation 5 packing. The developer in question is Chris Grano, who's worked for Horizon Zero Dawn Studio Guerrilla Games and worked on the Wipeout games, so he knows a thing or two about game console power. And he suspects that the higher computing power the Xbox Series X can bring to bear over the PlayStation 5 will give Microsoft console a distinctive advantage. We're talking about 17% more powerful. And even, I'm being, bro, I'm being generous with this hat. Dudes are like, Obi-Wan is trolling Sony with this X-Con gang hat. Bro, I'm being generous, generous bro. Because it really should be 12 is greater than 9. Because that's what the PlayStation 5 is really going to be running at most of the time. 10 is pushing it. 10 is going to set your PlayStation 5 like this. It's going to be like this, bro. On fire, bro. It's going to blow up running at 10 all the time, bro. So, I'm being generous. All right. This is what um, the Chris Garn Grano says, the Horizon Zero Dawn developer. This is his exact quotes. PlayStation 5 is not a bad console. It's an absolute beast of a piece of hardware, Grano said on the RDX podcast. But it's just a piece of hardware which is slower on numerous kinds of paths than what Microsoft has put together. Given the Xbox Series X has 12 teraflops of computing power, while the PlayStation 5 has 10.3 teraflops, it's a more powerful console on paper. But the PlayStation 5 has has to... Oh, this is the article, Solid State Drive, with its SSD running every day. I already know that. All right. All right. And so, <coughs> that's what he said. He says, um, Microsoft console is going to be at a distinctive advantage. All right. Um... Grano, this is what he continues, says. Um, he believes that Sony may have been caught off guard by the Xbox Series X power. And that's why he's saying, um, due to the company resting on the... Let's say that he says because Sony's done so well last generation with the PlayStation 4, they sort of took it easy. Like, oh, we got... This next gen is a wrap. <laughs> so, and Xbox is like, nope, <laughs> not so fast. All right. This is what, and this is what he closes by saying. They've got this massive market share and lead, and they've done a kind of PlayStation 3, is what I've been hearing, he said. It's not that bad in terms of hardware and complications and things like that, but they didn't really kind of appreciate what Xbox were doing to try and do in terms of this power narrative. And so, he's saying they were taking Xbox for granted. And they got caught off guard by the power, massive power of the Xbox Series X. So, it's going to be interesting. All right, next news item. We got to press through. Closing out these news items. Nintendo Switch accounts. This is how bad over 160,000 Nintendo Switch accounts have been hacked. Um, and Nintendo has pinpointed the problem. <laughs> They're saying this when dudes were um, accessing their Nintendo NNID accounts the nintendo network id accounts which were the 3s and wii u accounts logging in through that way that it led to a breach in the system so double check your purchases on your switch accounts make sure no unwarranted purchases were made 
Hair is some Cyberpunk 2077. We got some new footage of the game. And the first thing people are saying, not first footage, new footage of Cyberpunk 2077. And what one of the things people are saying is how much more interactive the environments are like people moving around stuff like that but this game is going to be dope man this is going to be a day one buy i'm going to get this on my xbox series x going to be lit and the developers are saying they're going to optimize it at a later date for the next gen systems and the last news item for this video bro travis scott event on fortnite was straight fire this was probably the one of the best events they've had in the game and so i live streamed it yesterday if you want to check it out but what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things gaming bro we out you still watching this video that means you like me you really like me i gotta hook you up that's right i'm giving away a 60 dollars digital code every month for your platform of choice xbox nintendo or playstation two ways to enter one make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on youtube two follow me on twitter at obi one plays and that's it you're in for the giveaway but wait there's more do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy become a sponsor three ways to join one subscribe on twitch if you have twitch prime you can do it for free two click the join button right here on youtube and become a member and the third way to join patreon.com backslash ob1 plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later deuces